question eight. Brian Brothers, a 535,000 acre range in Texas, USA, that's a pretty big range by the way, has just deployed a new Veeam backup and replication setup and configured a backup job and added their entire standalone VMware SXI host with the reverse incremental backup mode and a 150 day retention. Well, that's retention, then, then it makes sense to use reverse incremental, but okay, for all nine virtual machines. Okay, backup job is targeting a Linux based repository on an XFS formatted drive. Okay, job has completed successfully for 30 days. Okay, so it's been running for a while without issues. Range owner discovers the cattle reporting application virtual machine was accidentally deleted three weeks ago and request it to be restored from the backups. The consultant is unable to re recover the virtual machine here. Restore the virtual machine, well, that, that's bad. So what kind of problem are we facing here? Okay, let's see here. Backup of the virtual machine was deleted automatically due to Veeam maintenance settings. Okay, so we might have to go and take a look and see if there's anything in the maintenance settings. Sure backup job is currently performing automated recovery testing. This locks the backup files. And well, I mean, yes, it 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 does do something here, but actually creating backups has a higher priority than testing backups. And, uh, we're not we're not really doing backups. We're, re we're reading something and then we can't even find it. So that that clearly is a distractor. The backup job is still running due to the Veeam Snapshot Hunter currently consolidating. So while there is something uh, called a Veeam Snapshot Hunter and it could be consolidating a snapshot, uh, it, it first of all would not keep the backup job running. This is a process that gets spawned on the side. And secondly, this would not lock the backup files. Okay, so this is also a distractor. The Veeam Backup Replication Console has been launched remotely Full VM restores from Linux based repositories can, for security reasons, only be performed. Uh, no, this is uh, completely garbage uh, at, at all. Like, there's, there's no such limitations at all. Latest run of the backup job was interrupted due to a Linux kernel upgrade. Well, okay, okay, this, this, this could, uh, of course, be the case, but. Um, even so, it would just mean the latest restart point would be uh, corrupt. Uh, but uh, of course, I do see this as a reverse incremental mode, but um, it, it would not mean that um, we, 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 we can't uh, restore anything here. So what about this uh, maintenance uh, thing here? So if we go to uh, take a look, uh, Veeam user guide, release here, maintenance settings. Try and go and take a look. Okay, so if we go down and take a look, here we have the storage. We've clicked advanced. We've gone to advanced settings and maintenance. And we see what kind of maintenance do we have. So we see we have full backup file maintenance. Uh, remove deleted items data after 14 days. And I actually do believe that is the default settings that we're seeing here. So one thing that we notice here is it's as important if you schedule periodic full backups, the remove deleted data after checkboxes do not apply. But uh, okay, this was a reverse incremental. So we, we don't have any periodic full backups scheduled. Okay, so it, it would be uh, not relevant to us. So it, it will apply. So what, what does this really mean? Let's go up and take a look. Select the remove deleted items data after checkbox and specify the number of days for which you want to keep backup data for deleted VMs. Well, was this a deleted VM? So if we go back to the question we can see here, it was accidentally deleted three weeks ago or some uh, more than 14 days at least, which was the, the default option here. By default, the retention period for deleted VM data is 14 days. Strongly recommended to set the retention period to three days or more to prevent unwanted data loss. So the problem here, uh, not to put the blame on anyone, uh, the, the issue here is that uh, first of all, this, this checkbox is uh, set. It, it kind of makes sense to a certain degree to clean up uh, after some time. 
But uh, secondly, uh, the application was down for three weeks and nobody noticed this. And then they wanted to restore. So in the summary here, the backup virtual machine was deleted automatically because of the maintenance settings like what we have right here. 